Hey there everyone, it's Ravindra here. We are continuing the C Sharp tutorial series and it is the part 32 of that series. And today we are going to discuss about a synchronous task or a sync task. So if you find this video helpful, then please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed this channel, please hit that subscribe button also. So what is a synchronous task or a sync task? An async task is a non-blocking task. It means if you have a task that is taking too much time to run then you can create that task as a sync task so that that task will be run in the background and you can move further in your code it means you don't have to wait for the completion of that task so that is about a synchronous task do not mix it with multi-threading because a sync task can be multi-threaded or single threaded multi-threading is more about workers the more workers or more threads you have much quickly your task will be completed so that is multi-threading but a synchronous task is just a no normal task that will not block it means it will run in the background and you can move further in your code and you can execute the other parts of your code until that task get finished so that is about a synchronous task or a sync task. So let's move to the code editor. And here I have this method, which is print a and inside that method, we have the for loop, which is printing a zero to a four. And after that, we are waiting for five seconds, then it will return one. So when this print a method will be completed it will return one and here we are calling this method and after this method these three lines will be executed so let's run this program and let's see what will happen so let's see So here, as we can see, it has printed A0 to A4, then it is waiting for five seconds. Then it is printing these three lines. First, so let's see what is happening here. First, it is printing A0 to A4, then it is waiting for five seconds. Then it is executing these three lines. It means for executing these three lines, we have to wait for five seconds so it is the regular task so let's create it with a synchronous method oh, sorry let's create it as a synchronous method and for that let's copy these lines and remove this line also change it to print a and it will be static async and it will be task of integer type because it is a async method so we have to write here await and we will deliberately wait for five seconds so we are going to delay this task for five seconds so that is our print b method which is a async method let's see how we can call this method first of all let's copy these three lines here we need them in our task b and change it to task b okay so let's create here task int task b equals to print b so here we have called this asynchronous method and okay that is fine and getting for getting the result of this method we have to write here await task b 
and for getting the result of this task we have to write here task b dot result and it will give it will print one because this method this print b method is returning one so task b dot result will print one and we cannot directly take the result of a synchronous task so we have to write here await without it it will not work so keep it in mind we have to await it here so what we are doing here we are calling this asynchronous method then we are printing these two lines here and at the end we are printing the result of that method so let's see how it will work so as you can see it has printed a0 to a4 now it is not waiting for five seconds and it has printed i am outside from task b i am outside from task b and result of task a is one so this line has printed after five seconds but these two lines doesn't have to wait for five seconds actually let's see here so first it has printed a0 to a4 then this task was running in background and we are moved to these two lines after a0 to a4 sorry b0 to b4 these two line has printed and now we are waiting for this method here so we have written here await task b now we are waiting for this method to get complete so here it will wait for the remaining time so here it has waited for five seconds then it has printed the result of task b so let's see here so let's see here let's so it has printed a0 to a4 then it has printed these two lines then it has waited for result to complete and printed the output of the result so that's how our async task works so that was all about asynchronous task and it is the last video of this series after this series you can continue the web development for that i have created a separate videos and we, you can check out in my channel so you can check out it here and let's see here is p.net core random tutorial series and you can start from here and let's see and here i have created this one hour video and you can learn asp.net 7.0 here and it is a brief introduction and brief video about asp.net core so you can learn asp.net core from here and once you have the idea of asp.net core you can create your own project and i have also created some projects in asp.net core you can also find it here in my channel and i have a different playlist for that you can check out this playlist build project from scratch and you can find some project in asp.net these two projects are created in asp.net mvc and you can start web development from this channel also and also you can find the other resources from the youtube it's totally up to you so it's only for the peoples who are interested in web development so that's that's it for now okay guys if you have find this video helpful then please hit that like button and if you haven't subscribed this channel please hit that subscribe button also so see you next time